an important way that master couples know how to manage conflict well and avoid flooding is that they really work towards dealing with regular everyday solvable problems by finding common ground and accepting influence quickly. So what I want you to know about this is that accepting influence helps each of you to find what part of my partner's position can I understand and agree with. Even if I don't understand all of what they're saying or asking for, or even if I can't agree to all of the things that they're asking for, what part can I agree to? Because part of being a healthy, loving partner is to be as responsive as possible. You can't give your partner everything they ever want, but more often than not, being there for them is what builds trust and shows them that you care about something just because they care about it. So for just a regular day conflict that's not gridlocked, you know, learning how to accept influence really means, you know, you as a partner learning that sharing and relinquishing influence is an asset to your relationship. Um, And that, you know, a healthy relationship is not a dictatorship where one person, you know, makes all the roles and one person just, you know, follows commands. It's a, it's a relationship where both people have preferences and needs and um, are able to express those and that both people have more often than not responsiveness from their partner. So this is a little bit harder statistically for men. Women are much more likely to accept influence, but in really happy heterosexual marriages, Um, The men who are able to accept influence are really, really advanced and are much more likely to have a long-term healthy relationship. So what you don't want to do is be the partner who, no matter what their partner asks for, finds some way of fighting with them about it rather than just responding. So in in a bad relationship, you would reject any attempt that your partner makes or request something for you to do, no matter how reasonable their request is. So for example, um, you might say, you know, hey, do you have to work late on Thursday night? You know, my mom is coming in this weekend and I could really use your help getting things ready. Ugh, what do you want me to do? Always kowtow to you? My plans are set and that's that. So the way that this partner responded to a very softened, reasonable request was to be defensive, to um, criticize, and to make an executive decision without consideration for what their partner is asking for. So that is um, not healthy, clearly. So accepting influence, what to do instead would be, again, if your partner made a reasonable request, um, you know, do you have to work late on Thursday night? Um, My mother's coming this weekend and I could really use your help getting things ready. A healthy partner would say something like, well, okay, but I do need to get things done on this report at work. Um, Would it work out for, for me to work Sunday afternoon after maybe your mom leaves? Do you see what happened? They took it in. They considered it. They still have their own feelings. They still have their own preferences. But instead of just flat out saying no or criticizing or mocking their partner for even asking, um, they tried to make a suggested, like another way that they could still be responsive or helpful in the way that their partner is asking. I really want you to remember the concept of yielding to win. From Gottman's research, we learned that um, you don't win an argument by countering everything your partner says. You know, so if you're going to act like a brick wall, things are only going to escalate. Um, What you have to do to win and to have a healthy relationship, to get more of what both of you want and need, is to get your partner to start saying yes. And the only way to do that is to yield to the parts of your partner's point of view and argument that seem reasonable to you. So what happens then when you start yielding more and you start becoming more responsive and giving your partner more of what they need 
um, or what they're just preferring is that the issue starts to become something that both of you are working on together. And so that if you're able to give your partner more, they're much more likely to give you more and to be more reasonable. And it becomes a very positive cycle.